Welcome Brainers! Is your Windows PC set up with a dual boot configuration alongside a Linux OS like Ubuntu? And are you looking to return to a single boot setup and recover the storage space for Windows? If so, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of reverting the dual boot setup, ensuring your Windows system runs smoothly and without data loss. Let's dive right in! Upon reaching this Grub Boot menu, please select Windows and complete the usual login process. After logging in, right-click on the Start menu and select Disk Management. Now, let's locate the Linux partition. You can identify it based on its size. Some additional clues you can look for are that it mostly doesn't have a drive letter assigned to it, and it might be labeled as Healthy Primary Partition. Once you've identified your Linux partition, right-click on it and select Delete Volume. This action will free up the space that was previously used by Linux. With that space now unallocated, you have two options. You can either extend an existing drive, for instance, I can extend my C drive. Or, create altogether a new drive out of this unallocated space. To extend an existing drive, right-click on the drive you want to extend, select Extend Volume, and follow the prompts. On the other hand, if you prefer to create a new drive, right-click on the unallocated space, select New Simple Volume, and follow the wizard to set it up. Next, we'll need to clean up any traces of Linux boot files using Diskpart. Please search and open command prompt as an administrator. Once it's open, type Diskpart and press Enter. In Diskpart, type List Disk and press Enter to see all your disks. Identify your main disk, where you have your OS and boot files, it's most likely be disk 0. Please type select disk 0, or the number corresponding to your main disk, and press enter. Next, type list volume to see all the volumes on that disk. Locate the volume labeled as the system partition. This partition stores the boot files and is typically around 100 megabytes or 500 megabytes in size. Another clue is that it usually uses the FAT32 file system and often does not have a drive letter assigned. Type select volume followed by the partition number you identified above. Next, type assign letter equals Z and press enter to temporarily assign a drive letter to this partition. Ensure that the drive letter you use here is not already in use on your system. Once you assign the drive letter, exit the disk part utility. Navigate to the newly assigned drive letter. Use the dir command to list its contents. You'll most likely find an EFI folder. Change the directory to EFI by typing cd EFI. Use dir again to show all the boot entries listed. You should find an entry for Ubuntu or a different Linux name based on what you are using. To remove the directory, use the rd command followed by slash s and the name of the Linux directory you found above. Confirm the action by typing y and pressing enter. We're almost done. From here, we just need to change the boot order on your PC. To do this, we need to get into the BIOS settings. If you know your BIOS key, you can use it to get in. Alternatively, you can hold the shift key while clicking restart in Windows. When your system restarts, you'll land on a screen where you can choose Troubleshoot, then UEFI Firmware Settings, and finally Restart. This method will also take you to the BIOS settings. Once you're in the BIOS, look for the Boot Order Settings. The navigation may differ for your PC, but you should be able to locate it easily. Set Windows Boot Manager to be the first in the boot order. This should be enough to ensure your system boots directly into Windows every time you start it up. However, if you see an option to delete or remove the Linux or Ubuntu entry entirely within BIOS, you can do that as well. Once everything is set up, please save your changes and exit the BIOS. Your computer should now boot directly into Windows. And there we are. We've successfully reverted the dual boot setup and recovered the storage space for Windows. I hope this is helpful. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see our videos at the top of your search results.